as former President Aliska Nobisinjo, in a press statement on Friday, June 8, alleged that the Muhammadu Buhari administration is planning to frame him on false evidences, Nage. Om in this report lists five things the former president said in his statement. There is a plan to frustrate, intimidate and blackmail him into abandoning his divine mandate. Obasan Joe alleged that the administration is desperate to blackmail him into abandoning his mandate which he claimed is a divine one. Since Chief Ilaskan Obasanjo declared in his State of the Nation special statement on January 23, 2018, the desperation to frustrate, intimidate and blackmail him into abandoning his divine mandate to protect the right of the people to better life and living continued unabated and has even taken a bizarre dimension. Security of his life cannot be guaranteed. Obasanjo also revealed that he has been told that his security of life cannot be guaranteed because operatives are perfecting how to curtail him. Impeccable security sources have alleged Chief Obasanjo's name is on their watch list and that the security of his life cannot be guaranteed. According to these informants, Many of who are in the top echelon of the nation's security management and close to the corridors of power, the operatives are daily perfecting how to curtail the personal liberties of the former president and hang a crime on him. Plots to incriminate him will be a reenactment of the Abaca era. The former president claimed the steps being taken to frame him can only be compared to era of late dictator, Abaca. The content of the alleged beastly designs, it was learned are twofold for now. 1. To seize his international passport and clamp him into detention indefinitely, in order to prevent him from further expressing ox on the pervasive mediocrity in the quality of governance, economic management and in the protection of lives and property by the government. But. Since that could expose the government to a swath of international condemnation, embarrassment and outrage, it is said that another plot being hatched is to cause the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC, to reopen investigation into the activities of Chief Obasanjo's administration using false witnesses and documents. This will be a reenactment of the Abaca era in which Chief Obasanjo was one of the principal victims. Seraki and Dogara facing threat within the same government. He also said that Senate President Kola Seraki and Yukabu Dogaro, Speaker of the House of Representatives, are being threatened by the current administration. We are currently in a nation where the number three citizen is currently being harangued and the number four citizen is facing similar threat within the same government they serve. Nigerians living in fear. The former president also said many Nigerians are currently living in fear ahead of the 2019 elections. He said with the worrisome dimension things have taken, citizens fear they could be hounded or even killed. Buhari using blackmail to silence opposition. Obasanjo also accused Buhari's government of using various means to suppress opposition in the country. While it is regrettable how the government has sunk in its shameless desperation to cow opposition, a resort to blackmail, despotism and Gestapo tactics being employed by the goons of this government would not hold water. And no government ever remains in power forever. I am ready to face probe. Significantly. The former president also maintained his readiness to face probe over allegations that he mismanaged $16 billion electricity funds. However, he said the investigation into the allegation must be by an independent and credible panel. For the record, Chief Obasanjo reiterates his readiness to face probe again after that of the House of Representatives, the Senate, the ICPC, and the EFCC, 
but before an independent, objective and credible panel of inquiry to account for his stewardship in government and beyond.